Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we've got another RC quadcopter made by Helicute. It's the Hero Space Explorer RC quadcopter. It has a Wi-Fi 720p HD. You can Wi-Fi to your phone. So you'll have an app for that. It's got LED lights. It has a built-in 3.7 volt 1000 milliamp lithium ion battery. It says it'll fly up to 30 minutes. 2.4 remote needs four AAA batteries not included um, says charge time is 120 minutes um, so here's what it looks like in the box my box got a little abused from DHL uh, so I wouldn't worry too much about that because yours will probably not end up that way here's your codes for the Wi-Fi Here's a list of the things that they do. 3D flips and rolls, built-in camera, auto hover, which I'm assuming would be altitude hold kind of mode, headless, gyros, auto trim. Looks like you've got triple rate speeds, so that's great. So we'll get this out. So there's what's in the box. Here is your manual. <clears throat> some things not to do here's a rundown of the controls speed select trim buttons one key return headless flip button we push this stick in for the flip button it says here take pictures with that top button speed select push the throttle stick in uh, here's your landing button Operating steps, operation and control, how to trim it, radical flips and rolls, looks like we've got a USB charger, more of the codes, yep. Here's your little bag of goodies, here's the USB charger, see you got four propellers which is really cool, you got a screwdriver. More than likely to take the back off the transmitter. Yep, that's where your four triple A's will go. Pretty good sized transmitter here. You see the throttle stick stays in the middle, so you've got your auto level or auto altitude. On off button. You've got lights here for when your camera's going. Here is your phone holder loaded feels good and you get this loose and we'll be right back okay we got it out of the box here you have your prop guards if you're new or I guess if you're flying in a tight space indoors, you could pop those in there. They'll just snap in there and clip in. Easy on and off, that's pretty cool. Here is the rest of, you can see where the battery is in the back there. It says built in, but it's removable. That's pretty cool. There you can see where your SD card will go for recording your video and photos. Here is the battery pack, a standard connector, that's pretty cool, so you could probably adapt something else onto that if you really wanted to. Now you'll notice the height that these motors, different heights, top and bottom, a little different, pretty cool. There's your camera, it's got a really nice color to it, it looks really cool. That's a geared motor. You can see the gears turning in there. You'll have your lights. Here's the power button here on the bottom. Nice looking little package. There you go. So we'll get it charged up and we'll get it outside and we'll show you how it performs. So like, comment, subscribe.
Okay guys, here we've got it charged up. We're gonna make it go. Quick little run down here of the transmitter again though. Um, this is a camera light button. Tells you that it'll flash when it takes a picture or it'll remain on while recording a video. This is the power light. You turn it on, you'll see the lights. Um, you got your sticks. When you push this one down, this changes your speed select or rates. You push this one down as the flip button, so then you'll choose which way you want to do your flips. Up top here is to take picture or video. Press it once to take a picture. Pull it down for three seconds to take a video. I forgot the SD card at home, so we'll be doing that another time. And then this top button here is one time to unlock the drone, it says. So I haven't flown it yet, but I'm guessing that's going to start the motors. And then push it again for a slow landing and then hold it down for three seconds for emergency stop. So that is going to probably just kill the motors in case you crash or have an issue. All these other ones here are trims other than these guys here. Headless mode is the top one, and one key return is the bottom one. So, without further ado, let's make it go. Okay, got it fished out. So we'll get the battery back in there. Get that plugged in. Tuck that back in there and close the door. Okay, so there, we've got that. Power button is on the bottom. There's the power button and the lights. Transmitter on. Up and down to bind. Should do it, so we'll try our takeoff button. There it goes. It's like advertised. So it will not take off, it just starts the motors. But you give it a little juice, It'll go. Double rate, triple rate. What a great flying machine. Pretty cool looking, isn't it? I'm gonna give it a little couple little trick clicks of trim. There's a little wind, but not bad. But I did click this to triple rate, so. Flip button, doesn't seem to work. We'll go out here and we'll try one key return. Here's one key return and I don't know where it's going. So we're not gonna do that. Headless mode should come back no matter what. That's all going backwards. I don't know, turn that off. Really cool looking machine handles really well. You can see the altitude hold is doing really great. Pretty cool. Nice range on it. Let's try the land button. One more click of that button. And it landed. One more click to start the motors. Give it a little throttle and it'll boost up there. And it'll hold. Works really well. Works really well. Power. Here it comes, full throttle. Full throttle. Not the fastest one in the world. But it works.
<laughs> Wind pushed it into me a little bit. Just will not flip. I'm gonna try to land it here. Hit the land button. Well, I don't know. Flip button is not working for me. You can see I pushed the camera button. I don't have a card in it. You can see the lights flash for the photo. Now they will keep flashing for video. Hold it down to make it stop. Alright, very cool. Pretty cool. That works. There you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed that. And we come back, we'll do some FPV, and we'll get an SD card in there, and then we'll do some um, pictures and video. So now you get kind of a feel for it, how it flies line of sight. It flies really well. It's really stable. It has really good battery life. It's still going. I guess we'll just keep going. We'll fly it till the lights flash. Keep ripping. I'm really impressed with the flight time on this one. It's really long. Kind of a cool angle. We'll do the auto land again. We'll bring it up a little ways here. Land button. Pretty awesome.